Hi, I'm Nick, a developer advocate on the Material Design team at Google. Material Components for Android is the official library from the Material Design team, helping you build beautiful products faster. With built-in Material theming support, customizing your app has never been easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate from the Android Design Support Library to Material Components. You'll learn about the new namespace, attributes, and widgets, and how you can leverage the power of material theming in your app. Let's dive in. As you may know, the Design Support Library was a package within the old Android Support Library. It provided us with the material design components and patterns that were not part of the standard App Compat offering, such as navigation drawers, floating action buttons, snack bars, and tabs. Development on the Support Library stopped at version 28.0.0 and moved to Jetpack. Jetpack makes use of a new Android X namespace. It splits the previous support library packages into separately maintained, semantically versioned libraries, providing feature parity as well as new libraries. At the same time, the design support library was migrated to material components for Android. MDC Android has its own namespace and offers new widgets, features, and bug fixes. We highly recommend migrating your code base to MDC Android to get access to the latest features and bug fixes. Let's see how we can migrate your existing code base from the design support library to MDC Android. First, you need to be using Android X. If you've done so already, great. If not, you can get started with the Android X developer documentation and the steps outlined in our video, Migrating to Android X, the time is right. Both are linked in the description. Keep in mind that Jetpack and MDC Android artifacts with version 1.0.0 are binary equivalents to the support library 28.0.0 artifacts. If you're not on version 28, then we recommend migrating to this first and then switching to MDC Android. Now we have successfully migrated to MDC Android 1.0.0. We've done a lot of work to improve MDC Android since version 1. Now that version 1.1.0 is stable, you've got a host of great new features, including full material theming support for color, typography, and shape, dark theme support, Android 10 gesture navigation insets and widgets, and new widgets like the extended fab, badges, toggle buttons, and more. We recommend changing your MDC Android dependency version to 1.1.0 or later. At this stage, you may, however, notice some unexpected changes to certain widget colors and other attributes. Let's look at how we can fix this by migrating our app theme. The first thing you need to do is ensure that your theme is inheriting from a material components theme. If you were previously inheriting from an app compat theme, the MDC Android themes map one to one with these. At this stage, your theme is likely missing some of the important MDC Android attributes while also having some app compat or platform attributes you no longer need. MDC Android has a smaller set of easier to understand theme attributes. They are derived from the concept of material theming and can be split into four categories, color, typography, shape, and per widget styles. Let's go through these categories one by one to see what attributes you should add, change, or remove, and how to use them. The main MDC Android color palette consists of a primary color with a light or dark variant. This is your main brand color. A secondary color with a light or dark variant. This is your complementary accent brand color. An error color for warnings and errors. A surface color for containers like cards and bottom sheets. And a background color for the window background of your app. In addition to this, on colors exist for text and icons displayed on top of these colors. In your app theme, you can override some of the colors to express your brand. For colors you don't want to override, you can rely on sensible defaults provided by the MDC Android themes. Attributes from the design support library, such as color accent and color control normal, do not fit within this new color system and should be phased out. Some non-MDC Android widgets still use these attributes. Thankfully, the MDC Android themes take care of supporting this for you by internally mapping the new color attributes to these under the hood. 
Here's how the new color attributes map to the old app compat attributes and which ones you can keep, replace, or remove. The MDC Android type scales map directly to those in the Material Design type system. They take the form of Android text appearance styles. They can be used in a variety of scenarios for titles, buttons, captions, and more. In your apps theme, you can override the type scales to express your brand. You can also add a custom font family with XML or downloadable fonts via Android Studio. Your font is then applied to individual text appearance styles, which represent your type scales. And here's how these new type attributes map to the old app compat attributes and which ones you can keep, replace, or remove. The shape system is a way to apply treatments to the corners of MDC Android widgets, more specifically anything backed by a new class, Material Shape Drawable. This takes the form of Android shape appearance styles, which include a corner family, rounded or cut, and the corner size. Shapeable widgets can be split into three categories, small components, such as buttons and text fields, medium components, like cards and dialogues, and large components such as bottom sheets. In your app theme, you can override these shape appearances to add personality to the various widgets that make up your app screens. This is a new concept that didn't previously exist in AppCompat. You may want to check for places where you've used shape drawables and other custom backgrounds for widgets, as these will not respond to shape theming. If the widget is part of MDC Android, the backing material shape drawable and corresponding attributes should cover most cases. MDC Android also offers default styles for the new widgets that it offers. Here's how these new widget attributes map to the old app compat attributes and which ones you can keep, replace, or remove. That was a quick look at how to migrate from the design support library to material components. With the new and updated material theming and widget attributes, your app theme should now look something like this. You can learn more about material theming and MDC Android at material.io. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more design tutorials and other videos. Thanks for watching.